Hello everyone, I greet in the name of God Almighty. My name is Apostle Nathan Silas and today we have a very interesting video to react to. And this one says that Toba is a gift from Allah to all believers. And this video was actually done by um, Sheikh Mufti Meg. So I believe that it's going to be a very interesting one. I do not know what is Toba or Toba or something like that. <laughs> I don't really know whether I'm pronouncing it the right way or not. But then when we get down to the video, we can be able to like learn its meaning. So if today happens to be the first time of you checking out my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Facebook and Instagram. And if you have any video you want me to react to, don't forget to drop it at the comment section and I'm going to check it out. So guys, before we get down to the video, I'm a theologian and I make this video not to discredit anyone's opinion, thought or belief. This is basically for educational purposes and I believe that at the end of this video, we all are going to learn from this. So guys, without any further ado, let's get on to this video and check this you out. You and I know that before we came onto earth, Allah created Adam, not on the earth, but from the earth. Do you know what that means? If you listen carefully, it's amazing. The body I have, the body you have, is actually from soil, from dust. You thought of that? Allah speaks about how He created mankind and He speaks about the salsal. You know, in, in the Quran, Allah uses several terms to refer to the dust, the sand the soil, the clay, etc. These are not contradictions, but different levels. When you add water to the soil, when it becomes mud, it becomes clay, it becomes harder and it becomes dry after some time if you were to leave it and so on. So this is how Allah created Adam alayhi salam. Why did Allah take from the earth? Why didn't he take something from Mars, from, from the moon? Why didn't he take something from elsewhere? Why didn't he take something from Jannah itself? But no, he decided to take from the earth, the different tints of the soil. And that is the complexions we have, the, the races that we belong to and so on within our genes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he created us in order to test us. He says this, he says this, I created you in order to test you. People ask, why did he have to do that? I don't know. It was up to him. He did it. And you know what? You can ask him one day, but you are here right now. You need to live your life within a certain way. And if you do, you will feel the goodness within you. You will feel discipline. People ask me about Islam. So many rules, regulations. I always say that's the discipline that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to live by. He wants you to lead a clean life, clean in every way. Business dealings clean. Your mouth is clean. What goes into your mouth is clean or what came out of your mouth is clean. Your relationships are clean. Everything else is clean. Subhanallah, that is Islam. Clean, cleanliness in worship. You worship your maker alone. You don't just look at something you like and start prostrating to that thing that you like. No, it is Allah and Allah alone who deserves the prostration because he made you. So Allah created Adam alayhi salam in a place called Jannah. And there is a huge discussion as to what Jannah that actually was with the ulama making mention of the opinion that it is called Jannah to Ibtila, a special garden where Allah had created it in order to make man so that man would then do what he was meant to and then be sent onto the earth. So if you look at Adam alayhi salam, he committed a sin, didn't he? What was the sin? Yes, he ate from the tree, mashallah. People say, well, you know, it was a fault of the woman. I don't know if you've heard that, right? In actual fact, that is totally wrong. You don't, the men do something wrong and then blame the women. I think it's typical up to today. That keeps on happening, right? To be honest, they were both guilty. They, they both did wrong. One did wrong and then the other did wrong. They both did wrong, subhanallah. But it was part of the plan of Allah. Why? Because there is an act of worship that didn't take place yet. What was it? Seeking forgiveness. The angels have the capacity only of obeying Allah. They don't have the capacity to disobey Allah. 
So what's the point of saying that they did istighfar yet? Yes, they do praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but they've never sinned. لا يعصون الله ما أمرهم ويفعلون ما يؤمرون. Allah describes the angels by saying they never transgress against Allah. They do exactly as they are ordered. So there is no tawba in that sense from the angels. On the other hand, you have the devil, you have shaitan. Shaitan has never repented to Allah. Never ever had Shaitan repented to Allah. He would have been a saint. So Shaitan didn't repent to Allah when he committed a sin. And what was the sin of the devil? Worse than the sin of Adam. Adam alayhi salam, he was promised two things by the devil. For those two things, he committed the sin. Do you know what those two things were? Do you know what those two things were? Shaitan tells him, هَلْ أَدُلُّكَ عَلَى شَجَرَةِ الْخُلْدِ وَمُلْكٍ لَا يَبْلَى Amazing. Up to today, we're searching for the same two things. Should I show you a tree that if you were to eat from it, you'd never age and you won't ever die? Woo! <laughs> wouldn't you love to know that tree? MashaAllah, MashaAllah, right? You wouldn't age and you wouldn't die. No dying. Shajarat al-khuld. Al-khuld means Khalid. You're going to be there forever. If you eat from this tree, no death. You're not going to die. You're not going to age. I want to know what tree that is. That's what man would say. But if shaitan is telling you this, if it's in the transgression of Allah, don't do it. That's what happened. Adam alayhi salam fell in the trap. What was the second thing? Wa mulkin la yabla. Should I show you this tree? You're going to eat from it. And you know what? You will have number one, no death. Number two, you'll have mulk, ownership, property, wealth that will never deplete. Oh, wow. Two things we're looking for up to today. You want a lot of money. You want wealth. You want things. You want material items. That's on one hand. And the other hand, you never want to age. You never want to grow older. And who wants to die, by the way? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us a good death. May Allah give us Jannatul Firdaus. May Allah keep us happy. May Allah grant us forgiveness. Amen. So my brothers and sisters, here comes the devil. And the devil conned Adam alayhi salam. And why did the devil con Adam? Because the first sin was actually perpetrated by the devil himself. So when someone says the first sin committed, and then they talk about what Adam alayhi salam did, they are referring to humankind. But there were sins committed by other kinds prior to humankind. And this is the example of shaitan. What was his sin? When Allah created Adam, Allah says, prostrate as an act of recognition, not of worship to Adam. Now this prostration was per the instruction of Allah. We are not allowed to prostrate for anyone besides Allah in our set of rules and regulations. In fact, immediately after that, as they came onto earth, Prostration was prohibited for anyone besides Allah. Prostration prohibited for anyone besides Allah. If that prostration is a prostration of worship. As rules and regulations continued over time, it became prohibited even if it was just a sign of respect. Allah says, no, you don't prostrate as a sign of respect, but there are other ways of showing your respect. So if you look at the time of Yusuf alayhi salam, there was a prostration as a sign of acknowledgement of rank. It's no longer permissible with us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us an understanding. So, Iblis refused to prostrate. Number one, any one of us refuses to prostrate for Allah, we're actually doing wrong. See, any one of us refuses to prostrate for Allah, we're heading in the wrong direction. So don't ever refuse to prostrate. I gave you an example in my previous talk about the magicians at the time of the Prophet Musa alayhi salam. How many prostrations? One. He did one. They did one. They got the forgiveness of Allah. This guy refused one. He got the curse of Allah. You see? You see what's happening here? And with us, mashallah, we engage in prostration for the sake of Allah. And we will and we shall and we should and we must and we do. So therefore, we deserve the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Here comes the shaitan. He said, Ana khayrum minhu. You know why I'm not going to prostrate? I'm better. I'm better than him. I'm better than him. When you think you are superior, you are automatically inferior. Automatically. So 
any one of us when we start thinking why did Allah give that person virtue over us we are automatically defying Allah why did Allah favor this person and not favor me that is jealousy it eats away at your good deeds just like the fire would eat away at a dry log that's what the hadith says inna al hasada ya'kulu al hasanat kama ta'kulu an-nar al hataba you know hasad and jealousy eats away your good deeds your good deeds become depleted just like the fire would devour a dry log but Iblis was jealous. The Satan was jealous of Adam. He refused to prostrate. Number one, that prostration was an instruction of Allah. He then said, I am better than this guy. That's why I'm not going to prostrate. And Allah cursed him. Now he said, wait, oh Allah, if you give me some time, I'm going to show you this man is not who you think he is. But Allah chose something else for man. Allah chose an act of worship that was not given to others. What is the act of worship? Something known as Tawbah repentance forgiveness and Allah says I will continue to forgive for as long as my worshiper continues to seek forgiveness did you hear that I will continue to forgive for as long as my worshiper continues to seek forgiveness so keep seeking forgiveness and be convinced that Allah has forgiven you every time never does Allah say I reject forgiveness when someone asks for it never does he say I don't want to forgive no he always forgives you need to know that for as long as you have admitted your sin you regret it you seek his forgiveness and you promise him not to do it again at the moment I promised Allah I'm not going to do it again and I believed I wouldn't somewhere down the line I repeated it I need to go back again seek the same forgiveness and I'll be forgiven again and again and if it happens a third time a third and a fourth until the time comes when Allah calls out to the angels, do you see my worshiper? He keeps seeking my forgiveness because My slave now knows that he has a Lord who can either forgive him or punish him. That's why he keeps seeking my forgiveness. I want you to bear witness that I have totally forgiven him completely mercy of Allah keep keep repenting to Allah no matter what you've done and how many times it's been repeated but when you seek the forgiveness make sure you're genuinely saying I'm not going to repeat this again may Allah strengthen us so that we can fulfill that promise unto Allah so if this Adam alayhi salam he happened to sin when he sinned immediately his body his private parts began to become exposed they were covered in a way Allah knows best by his own body and thereafter he became ashamed of himself they quickly took leaves of the trees in order to cover themselves because when a person sins my brothers and sisters they're automatically conscious of whether someone's watched them or not if they have belief in them and they have a slight consciousness of Allah, they will never commit a sin openly and publicly. The hadith of the Prophet ﷺ says, people will continue to be upon goodness for as long as they don't openly and proudly sin. That's why when someone sins behind closed doors, it's bad enough, but it's not as bad as a person who sinned openly out in the public. You remember this because it's part of your nature. What made you sin privately? Because you're a believer. That's why I sinned behind closed doors. I didn't want to sin openly because I don't want to encourage others to sin. I'm sinning behind closed doors. And I know it's bad and I know I'm not supposed to. But you know what? Because I'm conscious of Allah. And yes, I don't want others to think bad. I'm a believer. If you're not a believer, you wouldn't even bother. That's why the hadith says, إِذَا سَرَّتْكَ حَسَنَتُكَ وَسَعَتْكَ سَيِّئَتُكَ فَأَنْتَ مُؤْمِنْ If your good deed makes you feel happy and your bad deed makes you regret, then that's a sign that you're a true believer. We all commit bad deeds, all of us, to different levels. No one can say I don't. No one can say I'm spotless, sinless. No one can say I've never done something wrong. Every one of us, myself included, we do things sometimes that we would be embarrassed of had, had these things been exposed. But different levels, some people do major things. Some people do minor things. But no one wants to be exposed. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep covering us. Mm. Amen. My beloved brothers and sisters, Tawbah is a gift from Allah. So repent to Allah and ask Allah for forgiveness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has gifted us with this amazing gift. So utilize it and get forgiveness from your 
Lord, the cherisher, the nourisher, the sustainer. The angels, they cannot repent to Allah because they can't go against Allah. They need to fulfill each and every order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so they don't have the luxury of repentance. And shaitan never repented to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of his arrogance. He deceived Adam and he deceived Adam because of jealousy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked Satan to prostrate to Adam but he didn't do it because of his arrogance and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cursed him and this shaitan now he took it a challenge and he's trying his best to take the son of Adam to hellfire he deceived Adam by saying two things he said eat the fruit from this tree which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited if you eat from this tree then you will never die and number two you will have wealth which will never deplete by saying that he deceived Adam and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala punished Adam instantly the scholars say that the moment Adam alayhi salam and Hawa alayhi salam Adam and Eve they ate the fruit from the tree Allah took away their clothes so many scholars they say that when you eat haram your clothes become shorter and you lose your haya because of that don't go to haram and when you do any mistake ask Allah for forgiveness ask Allah to forgive all of your past and current mistakes repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah will forgive all of your mistakes Allah doesn't like arrogance arrogance is what the shaitan did and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has punished him and his progeny so don't follow the way of Satan follow the way of Adam the moment he has sinned the moment he has violated the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he repented to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he cried to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah has forgiven him so if you want the forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cry to Allah repent to Allah ask Allah for forgiveness and as long as you ask Allah for forgiveness no matter how many times you falter how many times you sin Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive you that's a very interesting video learning about um, Toba you know like I said earlier in the beginning of the video that I do not know the meaning of um, Toba but then at the cause of it I got to understand that Toba means um, forgiveness right and this video encourages us that irrespective of what we have done or the sin we have committed that we should go before God and seek for forgiveness we look at in a stand she done for instance of course he has been sinning even since creation right this video makes us to understand based on the Islamic um, belief that God told him when God created Adam, he asked him what to prostrate, you understand, over Adam, but then he did not. Why? Because of pride. And you know that this pride has so much, you understand, destroyed a lot of people. It has hindered a lot of people from their blessings. And then what happened? He was not be able to do so. And not just about him being disobedient. He went on to say that he is superior over um Adam so why should he do so but nevertheless the conversation still went on God created Adam but then because of that God decided to create human on a different form and that's why he put the act of worship in us and in us and then that very act of worship was not yet in us and made manifest in the life of Adam and Eve and that's why when the devil came to them and then deceive them to eat of the fruit of good and evil which the devil make them to understand that the reasons why God don't want them to 
eat from the fruit is because he does not want them to be like him that when they eat from it that they are not going to die and that they are not going to grow young you see but then you know humans in a certain way trying to accumulate wealth and possessions and all those things then, then after hearing these things of course it sounds appealing to them and then therefore they decide to win against god and that's when you know and they found themselves that they are naked so the opportunity that you and i have is irrespective of whatever we are doing we should always go to god by activating this act of worship which is the toba or which is seeking for forgiveness or shall i say repentance let's always go to god let's seek for forgiveness he is just he is going to forgive you he is going to forgive me let's not just get ourselves tied that when once we fall then it feels like of course since we are fall we all know that god is going to leave us okay the spirit is not going to be with us so at that point in time we are left vulnerable so what is expected is we have seen go back to god seek for forgiveness just like how prophet david was doing whenever innocent he sins against god he always go through god and then seek for forgiveness we also look at innocent so when soul in the sun or soul in the sun sin what did he do instead of seeking for forgiveness he did not when Samuel came in the sun and was cautioning him in the sun of bringing Agag back to the land of Israel which was a cause or which was him not taking the instruction that God tells him to do and then he says the people spare the good oxen and then they take in the sun upon them say we are us that is not what in the sun God say but then he make the people to do so so what is expected is that's why as for the bible says that in a day you have to sin 70 times 70 times maybe probably before and god will still forgive you so and then if you look at it you realize that you may not actually commit such a sin you know, in a day so what is expected is you sin you go before him and seek forgiveness and pray that you don't have to repeat those kind of things that you do that is being considered as sin it's been expected you sin you go to god you seek forgiveness and then you move on and then you keep growing not necessarily have to be committing the same sin over and over but then when you commit the sin you seek forgiveness if i give you you keep moving and keep becoming better become more connected in a sense to him and very obedient to his words a very interesting video and i hope that a lot of us have learned from this uh, video move to make may god bless you and then um islamic um studio may god also um bless you for also making this um compilation and anyone who added a knowledge and has time to be able to spread this message may god bless you all this is just like a form of doing a um, dawah it seems like i'm doing dawah for the muslim <laughs> all right anyway and i know that a lot of you have thought and opinion concerning this video and i want you to drop it at the comment section let's all learn from one another so this is the end of my video if you like my reaction if you like share and subscribe and if you have any video you want me to react to don't forget to drop it at the comment section and i'm going to check it out so guys you remain blessed and i see you in my next video bye bye